What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So this past weekend I picked up some rims and I actually got them for free. These are it right here. There's some 2012 WRX rims. So this rally build is getting even better. I got the car for $150. I got the extra RS parts for free and now I got the rims for free. So apparently these were well, let's see, not this one. Here we go. These were apparently uh, Plasti dipped and then they were spray painted over the Plasti dip. So apparently it's like really hard to get it off. And I guess the previous owner just gave up on them. And he posted them up for free. So I went and snagged them up. He said he tried to sandblast one of them, but just couldn't get it done. I think his setup just wasn't right, so we'll give it a shot. I already got the powder coat on the way. We're going to be doing a nice bronze color on these, so I think it's going to look really sick on the green coupe. But enough of that. You guys will see that in a later video. Today we got this car in here, and it's in here for a brake job, but it's not just a pads and rotors brake job. It's a drums and shoes break job. So I'm going to do them real quick and see if I can show you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned doing these. And yeah, let's get to it. All right guys, so one thing I highly suggest you get if you're gonna tackle a job like this is one of these impact screwdrivers. So basically, you put the tip in on the screw and then you hit it with a hammer. While you're hitting it with the hammer, what this does is it twists it loose and it helps you get stubborn uh, screws off like they like putting on uh, drums and rotors sometimes. So get you one of these. Easy. You hit it a couple times, and then it should just come loose. And there you have it. So, a good practice to do is always spray them down with brake clean so you know what you're working with. So you can definitely see right here that there is barely anything left on the shoe. Literally, almost nothing there. So it's no wonder why the inspection, the state inspection actually failed. So. Let's get those replaced so they can pass inspection. Another thing I like to do is I like to take the drum off the other side so I have something to mirror when I'm working on the side I'm working on so that I know if I forget like where one of these spring goes or what direction something's supposed to go, I always have the other side to go look at. There you guys have it. It's all disassembled now. Now we just gotta put the new shoes on, put it all back together, and we'll be good to go on this side. It's 
it's always a good idea to pass the wire brush on the all the contact points so like all these raised parts and I like to do the little wire whatever this is into these holes so that the pins don't get stuck in there I'll also be doing the wire brush on the pins themselves so that nothing gets stuck nothing binds and everything moves as it should so if you guys wanted to see the difference between the shoes this is the new setup and these are the old ones so there's nothing left here basically you see how thick it is here so there's a reason why it failed inspection got our handy brake and caliper grease right here with our brush that it includes so Damn it. I'm convinced I don't know how the f this spring goes. God, I'm such an idiot. Okay, so this side is good to go. I was fighting this little spring right here because apparently I didn't have this plate right here lined up correctly so it was very far down and I couldn't get it to hold in here so I can put the spring in there but it's all good to go now so on to the other side. That was easy. One thing that usually really sucks on uh, shoes is this little horseshoe clip that they have, but on this car they came out easily, so I'm good with that. Got to make sure I line this up this time. are done on both sides now I just gotta sand down well I don't have to but it's a good idea to sand down the inside of the drum just to try to even out the surface and throw them on adjust them and we'll be good to go all right guys let's take this girl out for a test drive see how we did 
think we did pretty good. Oh yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. I hope you guys learned a thing or two, or a lot, but at least a thing or two on how to do drum breaks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future content. And as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.